Hello YouTube, this is your girl Kinza Babe. I am here in my kitchen today. I'm gonna do a vlog, but I'm mostly gonna be in my kitchen. I'm not a cooking channel, but I got up this morning and I'm deciding that I need to make something to eat. So if you watch my previous videos, I was in Ghana and I was learning how to make Ghanaian stew and also jollof rice. So I'm on my own now. I brought back some Ghanaian seasoning that they put in this too. And some smoked fish. I brought back some fun and yummy stuff from Ghana, from my trip to Ghana. So me, the Caribbean, because for those of you who don't know, I am Caribbean. I'm American Caribbean because I am from the U.S. Virgin Islands. If you don't know where the U.S. Virgin Islands is, one of the territories, look it up. I have an accent. People think it's Jamaican, but it's Caribbean, U.S. Caribbean, which is the Virgin Islands. So, after I introduce all that about me, now I am, I just did a little wipe down in my kitchen. So, now I am ready for, uh, guess what? Coffee break. I am going to make me some coffee. So stay with me until the end. And if you haven't watched my previous videos with me trying to make Ghanaian stew, okay? If you if you haven't watched those and the jollof rice, go ahead and watch those and then watch this video till the end and see how I did. Comment down below how I did. Okay, and if you haven't watched my videos, my previous videos before this one, I did some shopping and I got some of these items that I'm cooking today. So, if you haven't subscribed, guys, subscribe. I'm trying to reach my goal. Help me get to 1K so I could get monetized. So I could go back to traveling to the continent and bringing you more continent. Sorry, content traveling to the continent and bringing you more content so i want to go back to the motherland so help me get there follow my journey like and help get the video out there so i could get my watch hours i don't want to keep asking you guys but i'm trying to reach my goal and the only way to reach my goal is to ask right so that's why i'm keep asking sorry so follow me on my journey uh, getting back to the continent, liking and subscribing and sharing the video will be greatly appreciated. Again, I am Kinza Babe. Follow my journey. I am going to make me some coffee, you guys. Know if you watched my previous video that I like coffee. Those of you who are watching me from Africa or other countries, you guys probably like tea. But hey, in America, you have to go, 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 go. You constantly going. Like, I just got up this morning. I went down my kitchen. It's always some place to go, and it's the weekend. It's always something to do in this country. It's you like on a wheel because you constantly have to go work, work, work. You need coffee. <laughs> you need the energy. You're addicted to the junk food. You constantly have to be doing things. But anyway... I am making some coffee because I just did some wiping down and cleaning up my kitchen so I could prepare. And I done already got some tomatoes out and now I need to get, you see that pantry? You see that big pantry there? I gotta get all the ingredients that I need out of that pantry. So it's open and ready for me to get prepared and I am about to drink my coffee. So, Stay tuned. I'm going to make me a nice cup. A nice cup of Joe, guys. A nice cup of Joe. Let's do this quick. Regular black granite coffee or McDonald's. I had the other one this morning, so I'm going to do McDonald's coffee this time. And my favorite time of the year, pumpkin spice. Pumpkin spice is nice in the fall. Pumpkin spice, sweet. So I'm just adding some artificial sweeteners because I like sweet also. You guys know I like coffee. 
So I'm trying my best. Sorry. <laughs> I'm trying my best, guys, to bring you more of my inside content with me living my life here in America and trying to get back to the motherland. So I did I went shopping on a budget yesterday. I went to the Dollar General and I went to the Dollar Tree. The Dollar Tree is now 125 because of the inflation. Everything in this country is skyrocketing. I tried to find some a coconut for those of you who speak tree which is chicken to make with my stew today. I did get some, but it was very expensive. Everything now is so high. I tried shopping on a budget. I end up spending a total of $50 on all the ingredients that I bought at the Dollar Tree and the Dollar General. So if you're interested in seeing what I purchased and um, how much I spent, go back and watch those videos. Is the videos just before this one. So today is Sunday. And now I'm home doing a little cleaning and trying to um, cook a little food. And because it's me alone, my son probably is going to come over and eat some. But because it's me alone, I'm going to make enough to last me a few days. That's what I do. I'm going to package it nicely and put it in the fridge. So I have food for a couple days and that's my budget. I'm trying my best, guys to stay on a budget so I could have money for my travels. So if you could help me get to my, to what I need to get monetized, I would greatly appreciate it. I don't wanna seem like I'm begging, but I'm going through some stuff right now. You know, I don't want to say it now in this video, but one of these days I'm going to do a whole video of what really happening in my life. So keep watching. Stay tuned. I'm not going to let you guys know right now what's going on in my life. If you watch some of my previous videos and my shots, maybe you heard a little. But um, it's like in the beginning when I was just posting stuff randomly. I probably said it in one of those shots. So... But I probably is going, I can't say anything now. It's kind of private right now. So stay tuned. I'll let you guys know. And I've been on um, I Am Mawa. If you guys know I Am Mawa, I've been following his videos and his journey. And I said something in a comment. But that is to come in the future if you guys follow me from I Am Mawa page. So, all that said, guess what? After all that, my coffee. A nice cup of joe. You see, I'm sweating because I was just doing a little cleaning, even though I haven't finished my house. I've been gone for two months. And... I've been gone and it hasn't got a good cleaning since I came back, you know, and the minute I do stuff, of course it gets messed up again and that's why, but I did a little wiping down before I start my cooking today. So guys, like I said, I'm going to be preparing some meals, so stay tuned. I am going to try my best. See if I effed it up. Stay tuned and watch. Watch it till the end. If it's going to come out like a real gang and stew. Okay, let me tell you guys what I'm going to do. I'm going to make contumery stew. I, as you guys know, I, if you watch my previous videos, I was with some locals and a local family that I adopted as my family and they hosted me uh, by showing me around and taking me to different sites and sh cooking some I'm in my chair now talking to you guys my favorite chair so if you guys see me in my videos in this little recliner 
This is my favorite Rikaina. Yes, yeah, so um, the family, they showed me um, the local ways. My channel, I want it to be more about hanging with the locals and not doing too much of the tourist stuff. I did some tourist stuff because that was my first time there on the continent. But my goal is to go back and hang with the locals. I'm going to go to the village, the true village. I was in a like suburban area, not true village, but they are from the village. So they used to live in that village life. So they're not in the village right now, but they are from the village and they used to live in that village life. So I was there learning a lot um, of their culture. If you, I, if you guys know by now, that I like the culture. I like the foods. I like the dance. You see me dancing in one of my videos. You see me laughing and happy because I like the local culture. I like different cultures. Not only Ghanaian alone. I like the different Caribbean cultures. I like the different Caribbean food. I like Jamaican food. I like St. Lucian's food. I like all the different islands. I like Antiguan food. I like west indian cuisine i like all the different cultures i like indian food I, I used to work for indians in the caribbean so and i love their food i love chinese i love japanese i just like the different cultures, and i like the real the real local cuisine okay so they showed me how to pong fufu if you watch my videos I was learning about fufu, how to make fufu. I learned how to make um, a bang quang. A bang quang, guys, is palm nut soup. Palm nut soup. They take the palm nut and they pound it, pound it and extract the juices from the palm nut. And then they make a soup. It is to die for. So... I watched them make the palm nut soup. I also um, watched them make uh, um, intake in quang, which is peanut soup or groundnut, they call it in that country. Intake in quang. I learned how to make banku, how they make banku, which is uh, corn meal and cassava dough. For those of you guys who don't know, I learned how to make I watched them make, I should say. I didn't I didn't actually make it. For me to learn it, I have to actually make it. They showed me how they make it. So um what other soups? Enteke and Queen, my favorite light soup. If you watch the video, that's one of my favorite videos. Making the light soup and fufu, fufu and light soup. Uh jollof rice. All oh, that's local delicious delicacy i ate all kind of different stuff at different restaurants if you watch my videos you'll know the different restaurants i'm going to post one just with restaurants and my next video is going to be my um my top five i'm making a video on my top five um tourist tourist attractions i am going to say it like that my top five tourist attractions that's what i'm going to try and do and put some different clippings so stay tuned to watch those videos coming up and stay tuned to watch me guys oh let me show you i already have the Smoke fish. I brought back smoke fish. Smoke fish. I already have a smoke fish. It's in the water. I am going to wash it and clean it out. And I'm going to try to make, I am attempting to make Ganyan stew, right? with a coconut which is chicken guys chicken meat i don't know if i'm going to put the the intrinum intrinum is the cow meat 
cow meat in this country now is so expensive. I couldn't afford to buy much cow meat. It's not like in Ghana where the cow meat is so inexpensive and you could get nice fresh meat. So I am going to, I don't know if I'm going to put the cow meat or not yet, but I am going to attempt to make, it's not contouring because um, I don't have the contour. You know what? I probably have the contour, but I don't know if I have the contour. Guys, I know you guys don't understand. That's confusing, right? I was growing plants out in my backyard. Naturally, they were just growing in my backyard and they look like contour. But should I show you guys? Because I'm attempting to make contour stew, but I am going to make it with greens. My cousin gave me some greens. My niece gave me some greens. And I am going to attempt, so I, they just don't stay there and waste. I was going to attempt to make it with greens because greens is a lot like contour. So I was going to attempt to make the contour stew with greens. But tell me, guys, I'm going to go back in my backyard and you guys tell me you guys tell me if this is contumery or this is a variation of contumery okay tell me if this is let me see if it's still growing out here sorry if i'm too close to Too close to the uh, camera. Sorry if it gets dark. I'm going through my back garage. I have two garage. This is the junk garage. It's full of junk. It doesn't have a remote. Okay, so it got all covered. I haven't been back here in so long. I want to see if I could find a good one and you guys tell me if it's contumery or not they all gone away they're no longer here i gotta keep watching down i'm sorry i my camera got cut off i am out of memory on this iphone so this is the plant that i was trying to show you that i think is contumery but the bushes have grown up and all the plants that I had here planted has died away. I had a row of them planted here, but these bushes has grown so much. I wanted to show you guys, but my camera got, kind of got um, full of storage because I've been, um, I've been trying to create content on this iPhone because my camera, the, va the volume, if you watch my previous videos, I did a bunch of over, voiceover, and my, my camera that I had, the volume and it, the speaker, something went wrong with the speaker. So those are the plants I wanted to show you that I had. Tell me if it's contumery or not because there's a lot of plants and different species that look like contumery. And I wanted to know if these were contumery. So let me know and I'll be right back. Like I was saying guys, I'm in my backyard, but my camera is going to run out of memory again. I have to make some space. I have to transfer some footage to another device or something so I could get some space because I am out of memory. So guys, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe, subscribe to my channel. Follow me on my journey back to Africa, back to the motherland. And I would be trying to bring you some more content about my travels to the motherland. But today I was on a project. <laughs> I am trying to make some contumer stew. But I was trying to make it out of what we call 
kale here in the US because my cousin, my niece gave me a bunch of kale. So I didn't want it to go to waste. So I was going to make some contumer stew out of kale. Can you guys see that happening? <laughs> well, I am going to try. But before I do that, hello, I'm back. Well, sorry guys. I ran out of memory again, but now I took care of the memory. Hopefully I'll get through this whole session with me cooking in my kitchen here in America instead of Ghana. So um, bear with me as I prepare. Right now I am going to take the kale out of the fridge. So I'm making controls stew with kale. For you guys who no collard greens. Sorry, I keep saying kale. It's collard greens. I've been telling you guys the wrong thing the whole time. Not kale, collard greens. Let me close my fridge. So I'm making collard greens with Bear with me as I prepare. So I'm going to wash and steam the collard greens first. Put them aside. I have some akokonom, some chicken thighs with the skin off. I'm going to wash and clean and season the chicken. And I have my onions, my pepper, I'm getting everything prepared. Onions, pepper, seasoning. And I'll show you how I prep. More pepper, some hot, hot pepper. I already got the fish out. I showed you guys the fish. I'll show you everything in a minute, but I am just getting everything out. Some of the intranum, no, no, intranum is fish, sorry. Um, intranum, intranum, I think is cow meat. We call it beef here in America, beef. I got the fish out of ready. I am getting a little blended seasoning that I had made before in the freezer that I put in. I prepare some blended seasoning, sorry, for when I'm cooking. So stay tuned, watch me as I prepare everything. Hands of tomatoes and everything. So stay tuned and watch me as I prepare my Ganyan style, Ganyan style. Contumer stew with collard greens. Contumer stew with collard greens. Watch me, I'm going to wash it. I'm going to steam it. I'm prepping everything and then I'll be back.
which is salt. I'm adding coarse sea salt for those of you who wants to know which type of salt I'm using. I'm using the sea salt because that's what they mostly use there in on the continent and in Ghana is the sea salt. So I put a little in there. to season it up a bit. So now I'm gonna just let that simmer. I am going to start prepping the chicken. I'm going to wash the chicken. Wash the chicken. The chicken I bought yesterday. If you haven't watched my video with my um, purchasing on a budget, Kindly go and watch my video. These are uh, items that I purchased on a budget because I am living on a budget to get back to the continent. Don't mind the mess when I'm preparing food. I have stuff everywhere. So I'll try to keep it as clean as I could go. As I go. If you understand I was washing and preparing the smoked fish so here is what I came up with the smoked fish that I brought back I cleaned it I washed it I skinned it I took out the bones and then I got me the greens the colored greens here is should be ready to strain I boil it good because it's a little a little more tough than the contumery so I want it to be nice and soft when it goes in the stew so this is what it looks like when it's boiled and steamed down so I am going to strain it in the sink I started preparing the chicken. I washed the chicken with some vinegar. There's the chicken, and then I'm going to season it with all the seasoning um, so it could be nice and ready. stew mix so I'm going to season the chicken with some of this seasoning and then I'm going to also put it in the stew I like my stuff seasoned also with the um, seasoning that I'm putting in it. Well, I need you yeah, yeah, I find why I gave you what you need me. I know what you like. I believe in loving you. Tell me that you guess that. I try to need you. But I need some less time. I need to get. curry a little stew mix the ayuko mix 
a little. This give it a little red coloring, but it's going in the stew anyway, and some chicken seasoning. And I'm not going to add the shrimp powder to this. A little jollof seasoning. The jollof seasoning has some herbs in it, so it's already nice. That's why I like the jollof seasoning on the meat because it has herbs. I like herbs. I have some blended herbs here that I also am going to put in that I blended and keep in my freezer. I always blend herbs to keep in my freezer so when I'm cooking, so that has like ginger, oh that's what I'm missing, some ginger and onions in it. So, but I'm also going to add some fresh ginger and onion. Um, I'm gonna add ginger, and, um, fresh ginger and onion, sorry, is in this. And then I'm going to add the ginger and onion powder also to the stew. So we have ginger and onion in stew and in the powder. So next I am going to wash my rice. See you when I um, wash my rice and I come back and then I'm going to start the actual stew. This is the process before the stew. Now I'm going to start the actual stew. See you when I come back. Last, last. Now everybody go to a breakfast. Chayo. 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 She manipulate my love, oh, I know holy, and I know that devil, like the Baba Frayo, Mahayo, don't cry, oh, I need to go and shadow, I need to go and shadow, I need to go and shadow, Separate the stew and the jollof mix. 
This is where I'm going to make the rice, the love rice, the pot. So that's why I have it sitting there. So I'm going to add the tomato puree when the onions get a little translucent. I'm going to fry the tomatoes until they get nice and dark colored. But before that, I'm going to add the Kivo hot pepper. This also gives the oils a nice flavor. So the onions are starting to get translucent, so I am going to put the Kivo hot pepper.
Today's as you could see the stew is really done and it's ready to be eaten. Is ready to continue. It's fried. The tomatoes has fried nicely till it turns that um, burgundy color. That is going to give the jollof rice and the stew a nice color. My I over, overcooked the beef a little, but I'm going to fry the chicken now. So the pot is a little hot because the, the beef got overcooked. So now I'm just going to cook a few pieces of chicken. I'm not going to cook all. I'm at a point in life if you understand, you know. my jollof rice so this is my blend seasoning with my herbs and spices I'm gonna put some I'm from the Caribbean so we don't cook without that this is my twist and you remember we're making contumer stew so I'm gonna let this cook for a little add some more the smoked fish is going to give it a lovely flavor. But what I'm going to add now is the um, the colored greens. And I might need to add some more water. So, wait, before I add, no, I'm going to add the colored greens. And then, this is a lot of greens. I don't know if I should put all. Uh, I should save some for I could day. smell the flavor of the smoked fish in this stew. So I'm going to let this cook down because there's a lot of greens and I think the green need cooking down a little more. So what I'm going to do next, I'm going to start the jollof rice. Remember, I put the rest of the stew here to start the jollof rice. And I am going to get this going. Make a call. 
nicely cooked and blended in there I am going to add one of the ingredients that I learned is so good in the stew is eggs so I'm gonna add a couple eggs to the stew so I'm going to scramble the eggs in and let it cook Adding four eggs because this is a big stew. Let me wash my hands first. The rice. the rice is starting to boil. After the rice comes to a complete boil, what I do is I put it in the oven to cook.
now I'm going to. Why you say I did nothing for you? And if I do Go anything you want me to do, maybe another time, maybe another life. You will be my wife and we'll get it right. Young guys, last last. Now everybody can try to bring my heart to say bye bye, no. No, we just have to bye let it go. I am going to turn that fire up. And now I'm going to just take the whole pot after it starts to boil and nicely put the rice in the oven now this i didn't learn from the ghanians this is a, a island way that i learned there's plenty ways to cook rice so i know i'm cooking ghanian rice jollof rice but this is how i do the rice so i'm gonna let let it stay in there for a few minutes um usually about 20 minutes in the oven and it should be cooked Water, I tasted for more salt and seasoning so then I added more sea salt or and then I added more jollof seasoning and garlic and onion and a uh, yoko that's what I, I added I didn't do it on camera but you could do that also Chicken. He ate one of the chickens. He said it was too good. So now I'm trying some more. Guys, thank you guys for watching. If you did me this long, I appreciate it. I am trying my best in the kitchen. Do not judge me. This is not a cooking channel. I'm just trying to give you some content, real stuff, my vlogging, uh, everything. So please don't don't come at me too hard, okay? I'm trying my best. It looks like consumer stew, but at least the consumer stew that I had, what it tastes like, I'm telling you, it's going to taste delicious. And my chicken is frying. I had to fry more chicken. My son loves the chicken, so it's continuing to fry. Thank you. With consumer food, that's what I'm making, guys. Coconut with intrinum, which is cow meat, um, and the rice is in the oven. Stay tuned till the end, and let's see what it tastes like, guys. Stay tuned until the very end. Like, comment, and subscribe. Help me reach my goal. Watch the video till the end. Sorry for the light guys, I am so sorry if my videos are not the greatest, but I'm in Kenza Babe's kitchen. I'm not a cooking channel, okay? I'm just a vlogger who is on YouTube trying to, you know, vlog for the first time. I've been to the continent and I started vlogging and I wanted to continue now that I'm back. So. I am making my spin on contumery stew. So, guys, this is what it looks like so far. And then I'm making jollof rice. My jollof rice might not come out the way that I made it the first time, but I'm also making jollof rice. It's in the oven right now. I'll show you guys. It's in the oven. I cook my rice, I finish my rice in the oven. That's just a little pointer that I got from growing up 
in the islands and this is the contumers too this is not how Ghanaians do their rice okay remember this is my twist this is not how Ghanaians do their rice this is probably not how Ghanaians do the stew it's very similar I'm going to tell you guys it's very similar what I learned when I was there so I made a uh, stew, contumer stew with, remember it's my twist, with collard greens. Contumer stew with collard greens. You could do this at home if you're in the States and you're Ghanaian. I made it with collard greens. And then I fried some chicken, a coconut, and intranum. That's right. And I put in my stew. Guess what I put? A kosia. A kosia, eggs. This is how I know the Ghanians normally do it. So I did with a kosia. And I have the smoked fish that I brought back from Ghana and everything in the stew. So my son liked the chicken. I had to fry more chicken. So now I'm just waiting for the jollof rice to finish. I'm going to check on the jollof rice. And then if it's not completed, I'll have to put it back. So... I'm checking on the jollof rice. This is the rice, guys. It's looking lovely. It just needs to dry out a little. But it's cooked just the way I like it. It just needs to get a little more grainy. Still has a lot of moisture. So I took the lid off so it could... It's not as dark. See? It's not as dark as I wanted it to be. But I think it's the kind of rice that I'm cooking with that it would not get as grainy as I want it to. So I would let that cook, dry out a little more. Okay, so this is how my jollof rice came out. It, it's um, not as dark as I wanted it because I didn't do enough stew. I tried splitting the stew, but it's grainy and nice still and has a good flavor, if you could see. It has a good flavor. You see the fish and the onions and all the seasoning in there. And then this is the contumer stew. See, contumer stew is nice also. So this is the finished product. I'm going to turn the oven off because the rice is completed. The chicken is done. Now all I have to do is plate it and tastes what it tastes like what does my jollof rice taste like and my container so guys, so guys i am finished it's been a long day trying to make this contumery and jollof rice and now this is the plate guys contumery stew with jollof rice and chicken in chunum um in Trinum, which is cow meat, chicken meat, and this is contumer stew with a kosio, a kosia, a kosia egg. So I supplemented the contumer with greens. So that's my virgin. This is my virgin, guys. Caribbean, American, virgin. Don't come at me. I'm not doing it wrong. If you have any ideas, put it in the comment. If this is your first time watching my video, please subscribe. Help me get to my 1,000 subscribers or 2,000 and watch my videos all the way through to help me get my watch hours. I'm trying to get monetized so I can come back to the motherland. So thank you for watching. I love you guys. Peace out. I know I have bad lighting, but I'm eating my contumery. I don't have what you could see. Let me see if I could get you to see. Oh, and I'm going to try and eat it, eat it the African way. I washed up my hands and I'm going to take up a little piece of rice. See that? I'm going to ball it up. Then I'm going to, sorry, scoop it. Mm. Scoop it up. You see that, guys? So I take a little bit of rice. It's 
hot. It's just came out of the oven. I scoop it. I take a little bit of the contumery and scoop it with it. And then I move this finger out the way. These fingers are the spoon. Mm. Yeah, I put it in. This is good. There we go. And mm -mm, piece of a coconut. Get a little piece of rice. And scoop it in. That chicken is good. So a little rice and stew. A little bit of the contumery, a little rice. I'm eating African style. I'm cooking African food. Guys, this is Kinza, babe. Thank you guys for watching. Love you guys. Mm, it's so good. African food. A little intronum. Intronum. That's how you say it. Guys, correct me. I'm trying to learn tree. Correct me in the comments if I'm wrong. If you watch the video. Mm. All the way through. I'm eating with my hands. African style. The chicken is delicious. It's good. Thank you guys for watching. Love you.